Hi everyone, in today's Biblical Cities of the Holy Land video, we will take a look at the New Testament city of Chorazin. The site of Chorazin is located in the north of Israel at the northern end of the Sea of Galilee, around two miles or three kilometers from the shore of the Sea of Galilee. Its location on the slopes surrounding the sea give the site an impressive view of both the Sea of Galilee and the surrounding area. This small Jewish town appears to have been founded before the early part of the first century AD. However, this rather small and insignificant town is declared in the New Testament in Matthew chapter 11 verses 20 to 24 and Luke chapter 10 verses 13 to 16 to be one of the three towns in Galilee along with nearby Capernaum and Bethsaida that Jesus preached, ministered and performed many miracles in during his three and a half year public ministry. However, the Lord cursed these three cities in the above passages because of their unbelief and rejection of him. The site reached a maximum size of about 80 to 100 acres after the first century AD. The site was inhabited on and off from the first century AD all the way up to the midpoint of the 20th century AD. The site was then first excavated in 1962-64 to and then again in 1980-87. to The main building material that was used in the surviving buildings found at the city, which buildings date to after the 2nd century AD and onwards, consist of black basalt stone, which is extremely common in the region around northern Galilee and therefore was the building material of choice for construction in the area, which practice can also be seen at nearby Capernaum. Notable features that can be seen at the site today include a Jewish ritual birth known as a mikveh, a highly decorated Jewish synagogue, which is dated to the 3rd or 4th century AD, in which was discovered a stone seat known as a seat of Moses, that I have discussed in an earlier video, which link will be above. There are also remains of homes and public buildings and olive presses that are dated to the later Byzantine and Arab periods. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more new videos every Friday.